Hey everyone, welcome back to the red room with me, Sarah Ferugia. Um, today we're actually in the white room instead. <laughs> today we're in the white room, um, changing it up a little bit. As you guys may have known, I went to BeautyCon a couple weeks ago and we got the hauler pass. So me and my friend Lo <laughs> brought home two huge bags of um, stuff that they gave us. I low-key peaked, but I haven't looked at it in a really long time, so it's gonna be kind of a surprise, but I kiss and told. Wait! <laughs> is that what it is? You can't use that one. Um, let's just say I trick or treat it. <laughs> <laughs> this was the bag it was in. As you can see, we got a lot of stuff. Let's get right into it and I'll show you guys what I got. We've literally measured the bag and it was 20 pounds So this is gonna be probably a little bit of a long video, but I'm trying to shorten it up um, I'm also gonna be doing a giveaway at the end of this so make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video So I'll like describe how you can win the giveaway. We actually changed up the process a little bit We kind of organized like hair stuff and then the face stuff We also made a juicy pile of like the good things we got So first we're gonna go through the hair because I just want to get the bottles out of the way because there's actually so many And I don't know what to do with them. So I'm just gonna kind of show you guys how many bottles and stuff we got So guys, um, this is a little bit of it. Oh, I'm missing one Shea Moisture 100% virgin, virgin Coconut Oil Leave-In Treatment, which is, didn't you try that out? I use it all the time. Yeah, so she, Lauren uses it all the time, so she really likes it. Cantu um, Shampoo, Shea, Shea Sleek Hairspray, Kiss Argan Hairspray, which is good for like, you can use it before straightening hair and stuff. Camille, Camilla Rose, it's hot. Ooh, that actually smells like whipped cream. Like, I want to try it. Like, I might take a look. <laughs> Ooh, it smells great. Camilla Rose, you're doing good. How do you say this brand? Evita? Um, Avida. Shut up. <laughs> Cherry Almond Softening Conditioner, which seems really cool. N nourishing. <laughs> then we have this coconut cherry. Holy shit, the coconuts are coming in. Fuck. <laughs> they cut down a lot of trees for these people. <laughs> Cherry almond shampoo actually uh, to go along with the Avita. And if you're feeling risky, throw in some purple hair color, you know. <laughs> Mix chicks oops, sorry. Mix chicks coconut co-wash. Um yeah, so we'll give that one a try too. Olive oil and shea butter, black castor oil and flaxseed. So if it has castor oil, it means it's probably gonna grow your hair, which is really cool. Oh, but it's a styling gel. Vivid permanent cream color, and it's p it's pink, so might just add that in with the purple. We already used a couple of them. Um, insert clip of uh, <laughs> guys. It's supposed to look like this. <laughs> I'm just gonna show you guys what we have here. So these are all masks. As you can see, we have a bible full of masks here. Yeah, it's a little bit overwhelming. Don't really know what to do with all that. I'm not gonna go through each mask because even like one brand, this is the Seventh Heaven, they gave you like 30 of theirs. Just some random masks. There's like brightening masks, charcoal masks, mask bar. Um, keep it cool and smooth masks. Hair masks, this OMG one, which I've heard their brand is really good, so I wanna try that one out. And then this little pack of masks and peel brightening masks. Pearls, sorry. We're actually gonna try out this bar today because it looks super interesting, whatever. So we got like a lot of little snacks. This one isn't the greatest. I'm sorry, kind bar, just, I don't know. Yeah, it's not really good. But I'm gonna try out this three egg whites, six almonds, four cashews, and two dates. No BS. <laughs> Why does it look like a turd? <laughs> No. It's actually not that bad. We're just gonna keep them under the side for now. <laughs> Drum roll, please. Hit that shit. <laughs> We're gonna move on to the juicy goodies that we got from the hauler bag. And we actually got some of it from just kind of going around to booth, like from each booth. First of all, we got two full size, 
Urban Decay setting sprays. So one of them came in the hauler bag, which is like already amazing. Like I would be set with that. But this one was from staying in the Desi Perkins line. And if you're the first 150, you got like a bag of goodies of like what she chose. I'm kind of just gonna go with through she gave me first so you guys get an idea. With this Desi Perkins setting spray, it came with the Urban Decay Shadow and this one is in the color Diamond Dog. Um, so yeah, that one's really pretty. Then it comes with the full size eyeshadow primer, which I've actually heard is really good but I've never tried. And then it comes with the Urban Decay Perver Perversion? Perversion. Perversion. Yeah, Perversion Mascara. Also comes with the 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil and this is in the shade Bourbon. <laughs> Moving on from that, we got um, a full size NYX lipstick and this is in the shade number two. Like, oh yeah, we got the Anastasia um, lipstick. I think this is the matte one and it's in Crush Lipstick Crush Liquid Lipstick. Full size Becca Blacklight Priming Filter, which is actually really nice. It's nice and glowy for the summer if you're trying to look a little shimmery. L'Oreal Liquid Lipstick. This is the matte in... Oh, it's scented. In Candyman. Let's smell it. Oh, that smells like dirty feet. Really? <laughs> like, smell it. Oh, scented. It should be called Stinky Man instead of Candyman. <laughs> Then we got a flash metal metallic lip. Um, this could be like a veld look or something. I probably wouldn't wear it on the daily, but. Then we got a CoverGirl red lipstick. This is their new one. It's actually a really nice red. I can't wait to try that one out. Lime Crime lipstick. And this one's like kind of brown. Whenever I do like a brown look, I'll use that probably. We also got a full size Derma Blend translucent powder, which is like retail, like $36 Canadian. Hourglass Lip st Stilo in Believer, which is really cute. I'll show you guys. Like, it's like this, and then you can like twist it up and down, which is really cute. So that's cute. We got a pixie lipstick as well. This is the shade it came in. From walking around and stuff, we went to Maybelline and CoverGirl and we got their brow pencil. And this is in Honey Brown, which is unfortunately not my color because my eyebrows are legitimately black. So I'll be giving that away. And then this palette is really nice as well. It has, a, it has like a teal and a purple, which are like my two favorite colors right now. Food Stick, which is red as well. And it's a Canadian brand. That's cool. From walking around, Urban Decay also gave us their little quick fix Urban Decay priming spray. Milani setting spray. I don't know if this is hand cream or like... No, it's body butter. It is? Yeah, I, I use it. It's good. Okay, so this is the Palmer's Cocoa Butter. Heals and softens, relieves dry, dry and rough skin. So yeah, that one looks really good and it smells like... Cocoa nut. Pegasus palette up in here. Um, I think it's actually kind of cute. Like maybe for like, I plan on doing like a veld look. So maybe I'll use this. Some kiss lashes, which are good. The bag like doesn't end. Like it just keeps going on for hours. Rimmel mascara. Then we got the new Revlon mascara, which actually kind of looks like the Better Than Sex mascara, and I kind of want to try it out. Next, we're just gonna do the random section, and we got some brushes as well, so I'll show you guys that. These brushes, and these are from. It looks like it's Jessica Simpson's brand or something. Alpha Beauty Duo brush. So this kind of almost looks like the Urban Decay one. Um, Urban. I think it's Urban Decay or like Sephora one. Um, let me just see what. Ooh, it's actually pretty dense. It's not, like this would be a cute like cream contour brush. Um, or you could use this for like highlight or contour as well. Nice. In total, we got about 16 lipsticks. So I kind of just went through a couple of them already. But these are the extras. So there's one from Revlon. Um, there's actually like three from Revlon. One from Koki. Did you try that one out? Because I feel like you like this one. Which one. I already went through this one and then the smelly feet one and then this glitter one I tried and it literally is like glue. Um, but it could be good if you're trying to do like a metallic look and wanted stuff to stick on your lips. Uh, Physician's Formula All Day Oil Free Serum. Ooh, it's kind of like shimmery. It changes colors. It's shimmery. <gasps> Ooh, it's pink. Yeah. 
I put on my hair. Oh, it's actually really nice. Yeah. Mmm, and it smells like roses. Hourglass Sampler Mascara, and it's the Caution Extreme Lash Mascara, which apparently is really good. Cute little essence baggy thing. So it comes with four shadows. It's a fixing powder eyeshadow, which is white, and then satin blush, which is like a pink. Pink? I don't want to open it up unless I give it away, but I'll kind of just show you what the colors are. It's from Joa, and it's actually, there's three different colors in it. There's bronzer, blush, and then it comes with like a little bit of a highlight, I think. Um, oh, just, just kidding, it's blush and bronzer. So it's just blush and bronzer, and it's like an ombre effect, so that's kind of cool. Sally Hansen Advanced Hard as Nails Strengthener, and I actually like using this as a top coat. CoverGirl Mascara, and it came with a little Anastasia hair elastic that actually is kind of cute. Polish. Show me your nails. No. <laughs> It's actually really ugly. I thought they'd look a lot better. Oh my god, I didn't even go through the skincare stuff. For the skincare, we got a Skin Fix Foaming Clay Cleanser, which I tried and actually really, really like it. We got this Body Sorbet. Oh, so this is a body wash with a little, uh, it's called Fluffy. Is it a Fluffy? Fluffy. No. Loofah. Loofah. Okay, we got a little loofah. And then we got some Coconut Lime Makeup uh, Wipes that I'll probably just keep in my car. Your facial scrubber, mini scrubber guy. So oh, maybe I'll try that guy out. Beauty Bonder, which is vegan. Um, from a Butte Soy. I don't know, but they are really cute at BeautyCon, so. And we got this last bag. Um, it's a little trick or treat bag up in here. This is Skin Thesis by Derm Store. So there's a daily cleanser, and then it comes with I the... Use the... I use the night cream though. Do you like it? Well, I think so. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> then it comes with a refining retinol 0.5 serum, which is like, you should only use retinol if um, you have like fine lines, because retinol is actually really pow powerful for your skin. And then there's also the night treatment. So that's about all we got in the hauler bag. About all, yeah. We got a lot in there. 20 pounds worth of makeup. If you guys are, sorry, there's like dust everywhere. If you guys are looking to going to BeautyCon next year, I'd honestly recommend getting the hauler bag because I think it was about $200 to buy it. I, yeah, I think it was $200 to get the hauler bag, but when you add like three things up, like for example, the um, Urban Decay um, setting spray and the Derma Blend, just like alone, that's like almost $100. So getting all this stuff for $200 is actually a really good deal, especially if you're not really, really into makeup and don't care about all the high-end brands. Like this is actually really good stuff. Yeah, so closing off this video, talking about my giveaway, I'm actually just going to be posting a picture on Instagram of what I'm giving away, so make sure to follow me at The Red Room, so it's The Red Room with two M's. I'll be posting a picture of that, so I'll give you the directions and everything on the page. If you aren't subscribed to me, that's going to be one of the rules, so do it now. <laughs> <laughs> so bad at outros. I'll see you guys next time in the red room or the white room. <laughs>